With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi guys, welcome to doubtnet. Carbon suboxide C3O2 has recently been shown as component of the atmosphere of Venus. Which of the following formulations represent the correct ground state Lewis structure for carbon suboxide? Molecular formula we have C3O2 means how many valence electrons we have. In carbon there are 4 valence electrons. Therefore, in 3 carbon atoms we have 4 threes are 12 valence electrons. In oxygen atom we have 6 valence electrons. In two oxygen atoms, we have 12 valence electrons. Total valence electrons we have 12 plus 12, 24 valence electrons. It has no charge on these molecules. That's why we can say there are 24 electrons and 12 pairs are present of electrons. We have three carbon atoms and oxygen atom will set at the terminal position it has greater electronegativity all the first we distribute one pair of electrons between all atoms because it is minimum requirements then out of 12 pairs we adjusted four pairs now we have eight pairs then we can give two pairs of this oxygen atom two pairs of this oxygen atom and if we want to complete octet of oxygen then we can write here another electron pair 3 and 3 6 electron pairs are adjusted with oxygen atom to complete their octet now remaining two electrons pair and we can complete octet of this middle carbon but in this structure we can see octet of carbon atom is not completed that's why this lone pair will shift here and here also this lone pair will shift here then after first structure we get second structure like this first structure was rough structures in second structure we get this structure then we can find formal charge if you find formal charge of oxygen then we can calculate here 2 plus 2 electrons are present four electrons are in lone pairs and half of shared pair of electron if we take then it has six electron and in the valence cell of oxygen there are six electrons valence electrons that's why it has not any charge same in the case of this oxygen atom it will also not have any charge but let's see central carbon there are two and two four electrons and half of shared pair of electron then one and one four five six it means the valence cell of carbon has four electrons and this carbon has two electrons more than that of its valence shell that's why here we can assign minus two charge and in this carbon we can calculate there is no lone pair but half of shared pair of electron one two three it has one electron less than that of its valence shell that's why we can assign plus one charge here and plus one charge here but it has so much charge separation get more stable structure we can transfer these lone pair in between this carbon then we get highest stable structure like this in this third structure we can see formal charge of both oxygen atoms zero as they have six electrons two plus two four and half of shared electrons five and six both have zero charge and for carbon atoms if we calculate no lone pair and half of shared pair of electron one two three four it has four electron that's why no charge this carbon atom also have four electrons half of shared pair of electrons it has no charge and third carbon has also no charge and octet is complete and no charge distribution that's why it is stable lewis dot structure Thank you very much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.